of DIY dreaming and oh my goodness, I have the cutest project for you today. I'm super excited. It's going to involve these flowers that I picked up at Goodwill for $2.09. It's going to involve one of these wood panels uh, like this. So you can get at Dollar Tree Plus for $3.00. If you don't have a Dollar Tree Plus, you can find this kind of thing everywhere. Uh, it's 12 by 12. It's going to involve um, some watercolor paper, uh, a little bit of paint. I'm using this plaster color from Waverly, which is at Walmart. This adorable stencil, this adorable stencil, and possibly a palette knife. I'm not sure about that. So let's start at the beginning. Okay, so I took my little wood panel out of the plastic and before I came live, I painted it. I just did one coat of this Waverly paint. And then I sanded it and I took it outside. It's sunny today in Atlanta and just really cold. Um, and I gave it one quick coat of clear matte sealer spray. Why? Why do I do that? You know, when you're working with wood, it can sometimes want to soak in the medium that you're working with, which is going to be chalk paste, and then spread it all out and give you a real blurry looking stencil impression. So I have found that either, either using wax or a clear matte sealer spray, which you have to do outside, First helps with that. So let me just decide which way, and I'm a terrible painter, oh my gosh. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna do this stencil. I've already used part of it once, and um, I'm gonna fuzz it first. The bottom half of it's brand new, I haven't used it yet. The top half I have, and I'll show you what I made with it. And um, I'm not exactly sure how this project's gonna turn out or how these flowers are gonna look. But I just thought, shoot, they were $2 at Goodwill. Um, I am always looking in the aisle at Goodwill that has baskets and florals. And it's totally hit or miss. You know, one time out of 10, I might see some decent floral things and I'll grab it knowing that I'll cut it apart and use it for a bunch of different craft projects. Most of the time they don't have any good florals. But, okay, so I just fuzzed it. I could do that on a t-shirt. I could do that on a pair of jeans. Why do you fuzz? Um, you fuzz it because these stencils are very sticky when they're brand new. Just thinking where do I want this to sit. And I don't want to stretch it when I'm pulling it up or have it pull something off the surface. Okay, so. These stencils from MagnoliaDIY.com are adhesive. They have a little bit of stretch. They're super detailed. Just wait till you see this. They are awesome. They're reusable many, 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 many times. And if you like this project, which I think is going to be super adorable, and you want to look at this stencil online, just tell me, and I'll get you a direct link so you can just go boom and go right there. Okay, we're using black chalk paste. We are going to use a little teeny bit of red also when we do this part right here. So let me just stir up my chalk paste. Big blob right there to work with. And I'm using a small cut apart squeegee. Actually, I think I'll use a big one. And I'm going to use my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. And you know, I didn't say any of my normal stuff. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, Pat says she can't wait to see my project today. Okay, let me tell you guys, where's my little note? Um, part of this project was inspired by two creators. One is my good friend, Diane Brown, and the other one, I wrote her name down. I probably didn't bring it in here, but I'll put her name in the comments because um, she had this adorable idea. So I always want to give credit where credit is due, and um, you're gonna most likely, 
I think, find this idea super adorable and want to do it too. And each time you do this idea, it's going to look different because it's going to depend on what elements you use. I'm just getting my chalk paste on. Okay, and of course I have too much, so let's put it back in our pot. We don't need to waste any of that. I'm going to use the flat side of my squeegee just to pull off the excess. I don't want to go over and over and over this. I just want to make sure I have everything covered. I'm going to throw this in my little tub of water over here. And let's do the peel and reveal. And as we're doing the peel and reveal, I'm going to be doing this. And if you guys will hit the hearts, uh, if you like this, that would be great. So it's peel, squeal, and reveal. And I'm going to reveal from this direction. This stencil has so much amazing detail on it. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely adorable. I need to go this way though, because then I can handle my stencil and make sure I don't mess anything up. Ah! It's so cute. It looks like a black and white print. Oh my gosh. I could totally see this <laughs> on a tote bag, um, on a t-shirt. The thing is, look at that. Look at that. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful stencil. The, uh, the owner, Lisa Ramsey, she really knocked it out of the park with this one. There's also a beautiful uh, old-fashioned looking sewing machine that you should check out. Um, it's adorable. So I'm going to let that just kind of dry for a minute or two. And then we're going to use this 5x7 right here as if it's on the paper. It says you're just my type. We're going to do the words in black and then do the little hearts in red but i don't want to mess this up so i'm going to set it aside for a minute and we're going to go on ahead to the next step okay the next step was i did before we went before i started this video also so that we could work ahead and this is the top part of this typewriter you see what i did it right here and I also did it right here. I wasn't sure how much of the carriage return and all that stuff I would want in it. This is a piece of watercolor paper. It's Grumbacher brand, 140 pounds, so it's heavy. Um, it's kind of a creamy ivory. It looks pretty good with this plaster color paint. And I got it at Walmart. Um, so that's what we'll be using, and I'm going to cut it out. We'll start with this one. I think this one's going to work just fine. Let me tell you what my idea is. The idea is, if you want to be able to change your typewriter out for every season, and put some new words on this piece of paper, you can do that with watercolor paper that you can either tape, use a magnet, uh, you know, affix it to the top of your uh, typewriter. I'm just leaving a little bit of a margin, which I'm thinking will probably kind of disappear. I'm hoping it will. Oh, 
Okay, so here's the two ideas. One of them we're just going to do on the board. Okay, we're going to just do this right in the center of the piece of paper once it's dry. Okay, but we're also going to build a beautiful floral that we'll be able to take on and off. And um, you could use magnets. There's all kinds of different things that you could use. So I'm going to get my floral cutters out. And this part, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out. We're going to figure it out together. So this was a um, this was a, a bunch of flowers that I bought for two dollars and nine cents at Goodwill. I have over the years found some good ones. These are pretty nice quality. Um, and probably somebody bought them and then they never used them. They don't look like they've ever been used. And then they decided that they don't like floral arranging. So we're going to take some of these pieces apart and we're going to glue them on the paper. And this is the kind of floral that you can just pop the heads right off. Those are so nice. I love that kind. This one, no, I'm going to have to cut this one. And I want to use different parts of um, the greenery that is on this. So we'll trim all that up in just a minute. So how is everyone doing? Thank you for sprinkling, Vicki. I love it when people sprinkle my videos. You know why? Because that's how I meet new crafty friends. That's how new people end up coming to my page. And that's essentially how my little creative business here grows. So I so appreciate that. Let's get some of these sleeves. These are kind of weird. Okay, I think I got most of the good stuff off of this one. And we've got these two colors so far. So let's get some purple, another pink, and some more of this funky stuff, another one of these. When I spent two dollars for this, that makes it so I don't feel bad <laughs> cutting it up at all. I really don't. Um, sometimes, though, when, you know, florals, faux flowers can be expensive. When I spent $10 or $20 and I'm like, ooh, should I really be cutting them up? Okay, I think we're going to still need a few more of the flowers. So, let's do this one. And I will throw, I still have all of this. And I can use that for a future something. Okay, I really wish my sister was here because she is the queen of flower arrangements and I am not. But she's not here. Okay, we might need some more. I don't know. Let's say this is going to be sufficient. It looks like a lot. And let's clip some of these shorter. Okay, so this is completely dry. It was just the top of that typewriter with black chalk paste on a piece of watercolor paper. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start building... a floral something or other. I was thinking, how do I want to do this? These are kind of too long. Okay. 
just gonna come back and put some of these little ones on if I want. Okay, so I'm gonna do something like this, but let's start with the greenery and then we'll kind of poking out to the sides and then we'll build up. And some of this I might have to do off camera because I seriously am not great at floral stuff. And I'm just using my basic low temperature hot gluing device. I'm going to kind of do these uh, like in a mirror image kind of thing. So let's start with these guys. Most of this typewriter is going to kind of be covered up, which I guess, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it looks. Are you guys wondering, if you hopped on late, you're probably wondering what in the world is she doing? Why is she gluing greenery to a piece of paper? That's probably what you're wondering. strings everywhere. Can you guys tell that I really don't know what I'm doing? I really don't. I didn't get that gene that um, is good at floral arranging. I just got the regular crafting gene. My sister got all the good flower arranging genes in the family. And my mom was always really great with that kind of stuff too. You are for sure going to get glue on your fingers doing this project. So seriously, use a low temperature hot glue device. And you're also going to have strings and strings and strings and strings and strings of glue. I think I need some more greenery. Let's see, what can we take?
I have a feeling you're probably better at it than you think, says Vicki. There are basic rules you can follow, but it really has to do with what's pleasing to your eye. Well, what are the basic rules? Because I don't know the basic rules. That's how I am with a lot of my crafts. I just know that I want to create something, and I don't always know exactly what I'm doing, but I make it work. <laughs> I'm one of those kind of wing it type crafters, although I do, um, I always prepare. I always work ahead, so I'm not wasting your time. Um, I know this is not really very pretty yet. This is going to go, in case you're wondering, what in the world is she doing? And if you hopped on at the end, come back and watch from the beginning. This, we're going to build a big floral thing coming up out of the typewriter. Hopefully that's mostly dry. Let's do some of these. I think I've got the sides going pretty good here. Let's, uh, whoops. Let's focus a little bit now on the top. And I'm gonna do some of these. I want these to be shorter though, so let's just clip them. find some more of that. Where did it go? Here it is. And then we'll start working on the center in just a second. And I'll cover up all the messy glue looking stuff um, and get my leaves to kind of lay out a little flutter. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous how many glue strings there are. Vicki says, don't get caught up in all, oh, yeah, I already read that. And my comments are stopped for some reason. Thank you so much to everyone who did stars. Okay, let's just plunk on some flowers so that we can move on and so that you're not sitting here watching me do this boring bit forever.
I'm not going to make this completely symmetrical. Um, so I'm doing, let me show you what I've got going on here. I've got white, pink, and then two purples. And then we'll add some more. Okay, a little bit more of this. Where are my clippers? They're hiding. And I'm going to cover all of the underneath part up, so I'm going to probably have to cut up some more flowers. This would this project would probably be easier if. had the flowers like big peonies or roses or something like that. The fact that these are kind of standing up. Um, but this is what I had. And that's what I always say. Use what you have whenever possible. So that's what I'm doing. Whenever possible, use what you have. I want to make it so that none of the white underneath shows. Okay, so let's do a little bit more white. Do I have another white one? Yes, I do. Yay. And we're going to come back and we're going to stencil still on the... Um, on our board. I could just add some little flowers in here. Let's do that. We'll cover all of that up. Okay, you know what? For being not great at this, it looks pretty cute. It needs something right here and then something right along the bottom, like some leaves. I'm not saying it's fabulous, but I'm saying it's not terrible. I need a little bit of leaves right here and on the other side and then we'll pretend on our board for a minute and see what we think.
I think we are getting, whoops, that's the back. What am I doing? And I will come back with the name of the creator who I saw her project um, like this. That's what, what inspired me. And um, I want to make sure that you know what her name is. Um, we, of course, I put my own spin on it. This is how I would do it. Um, you know, so there's really no nothing new under the sun. But. If I get an idea directly from somebody, I always want to give that person credit. Okay. stick. All right, I'm going to fluff and probably add a few more florals uh, on camera. Out of the way, and we'll go back to our board. I'm gonna show you what this could look like. You could obviously glue directly to your board. You could glue all your flowers here. And this is just a $3 um, wood panels 12 by 12 from Dollar Tree. Okay, so ignore my fingers, but see. Oh. <laughs> Look how cute that is even with my finger right in the middle of it. Tell me what you think. What else does it need? It still needs a little something right here. So that is one thing you could do, and I just built mine on a piece of paper, piece of watercolor paper that I stenciled the top of this typewriter on. But I wanna show you now how you can do the next part which is this, and any five by seven stencil that Magnolia makes will work. All right, we're gonna fuzz it. I'm gonna write what it is, just my type. Wow, I have a serious disaster here. So again, um, these stencils are super sticky and I don't want to stretch it when I'm pulling it up. Also, I don't want to have it pull something, some paint off the board or something. So that's why you fuzz, but I could fuzz here on my t-shirt. I could fuzz on my jeans. That all works just fine if you don't have this tacky towel. This is a good investment though, if you're gonna do, and it's not expensive, if you're gonna be doing um, much stenciling. Looking to see. Where am I? I'm here. And am I straight? Okay, we're going to say straighten up. Okay, and I'm going to use red chalk paste for the hearts. And then black for the other. There's my little teeny squeegee. Oh, I need to give this some water. I'm gonna stir. This is distilled water that I'm adding to my chalk paste. Um, here's what happens with chalk paste. They started life um, as well, there are multiple ingredients, but the main one is calcium bicarbonate, which is a hard form of rock. And moisture and color and stuff are added to them. 
to turn them into a paste, but they do have a tendency to kind of want to go back to a solid. And um, you can prevent that from taking place by regularly stirring them and adding distilled water. Not tap water, you don't want to grow a science experiment. Um, you want to use distilled water. Okay, yay, I didn't forget that. And now where's my black chalk paste? Here it is. I seriously wish you guys could see this in person and I will get close-ups like I'll try to get some real close-ups because the detail on this typewriter is just crazy seriously okay I think that's good and I need to stop before I mess it up You're just my type with the hearts for Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm going to be curious to see what else Magnolia comes up with. This would be super cute, just like this. Or you could put it in an easel. This is a Dollar Tree $1.25 easel. So you could do something like that and put it... Uh, on your desk or where you pay bills or in the kitchen where the phone is. Um, you could hang it on the wall. Uh, I don't want to smooch this part, but this was what we built also. And I love, I'm going to finish this up and get close-ups, but I would love to know what you guys think. Do you like it? Uh, I know when we first saw this stencil, this typewriter stencil, I thought, that's cute and it has a ton of detail, but what in the world would you do with it? And now I'm imagining what you could do with it all year long. So, I hope you liked this project. If you did, I would love it if you would sprinkle this video to your social media, or if you're in um, any crafting groups that allow that kind of thing, I would love that. Sprinkle means share. It's just Facebook words. Um, and there's a little share button down here somewhere. If you're watching on Facebook, um, tell me what you thought. Let me know if you want the information on the stencils or chalk paste, or just a supply list where I tell you about the, the board and uh, the watercolor paper, what the weight is. Let me know if you would like that. Hey, Susie. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, do it this or this. If you liked it, feel free to tell me something in the comments. Do you have a different idea? Can you imagine how you could build different flower things to put on your typewriter for all the different seasons? What do you think about that idea? Um, just tell me what you think. If you haven't already liked and followed this page, I'd love for you to do that. It's DIY Dreaming. Um, I'd love for you to join me tomorrow for more crafting fun. Every, pretty much every day I do something. And usually in the mornings I share a video from last year or the year before or sometimes just from earlier in the week. So there's always something to watch here. Always craft projects that, that are going to be quick and easy. You don't have to be a professional crafter. You don't have to have power tools or be an artist. Um, they're going to sometimes be a little different, like a typewriter with flowers coming out of it. Um, and they're going to be affordable. This was only $3. And this easel was only $1.25. And uh, most of the time, they're going to involve either faith, family, or flowers. Not always typewriters, but flowers 
are a lot of what we do around here. So, oh my gosh, Charlene says the typewriter would be a wonderful print for someone's office. I totally agree. Totally agree. Do you think my husband would like me to go hang this up in his office downstairs without telling him first? Probably not. Uh, especially if I did a whole bunch of flowers coming out of it. Anyways, I had fun doing this project with you and I hope that you enjoyed it too. Be looking back here later for close-up pictures. Um, you can also just go to, to DIY Dreaming and I'll post pictures there too. Karen says she got her bunny stencil today. Happy dance. Um, I forgot on that bunny stencil that I had given it away to somebody last year, so I just ordered one too. And we'll be doing lots of bunny stuffies and all kinds of fun things. So I'm looking forward to mine coming in too. Alrighty, have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.